<sighs> All right. Hey, everybody. Um, sorry it's been a little while, but I do have big news. Well, I would have been filming more, but I've been busy working on the car, which is right here. And the engine is out. The crane's just kind of there, so it's out of the way. But there's the old one. And all today's video is really going to be is just me finishing unwrapping the new one. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother. So really all I got to do is just unwrap that. It's really all I got planned for today. Tomorrow we're going to start piecing everything back together. I got all the accessories, you know, alternator, power steering pump, AC compressor, tensioner pulley. I'm keeping that because that one's brand new. That was only on there for about a month before the car died. So, well, it's definitely bright out, but, uh, so yeah, all I gotta do is unwrap this or do that with these trusty old things that are just kind of laying around, but they are aluminum, so. Oh, thank you for not flying up and hitting me in the face. Perfect. And for those of you who are wondering, I'll be using my little Timberline knife that I got from Snap on. So it was on the truck and it was relatively cheap, so I bought it. It looks like they left a whole bunch of stuff on here for me. So yeah, it looks like they left a bunch of stuff on here for me. So what I can keep, I'll keep. What I can't keep, I won't. I'll buy a new. I might have to swap the flywheel off the old engine though, because it doesn't look like the flywheel on this one matches, but I won't know for sure until I finish unwrapping it. So here's a little time lapse of that, I guess. plastic that was on it. Mm, bubble wrap. But it does look like they kept a bunch of stuff on there, which is good. Let's throw this in a trash can here. I switched it to auto, so I apologize if the uh, video quality goes down a little bit as the camera decides what settings to use. But It's got a tensioner on it. It's got all the brackets and everything for all the pulleys. And it looks like the whole freaking wiring harness too. That's perfect. Well, actually, yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter because the old one's still in there. So, I don't know where it would unplug, unless they cut it. Really hope they didn't just cut this harness. They might have though, I don't know. Yep, they basically just found where it was staying stuck to the motor and just cut it off. But there she is. There's the new engine, right there. Oh, sorry, right there, yeah. So again, I apologize for whatever video quality issue there is. I just kind of set it on auto because I'm lazy. I don't feel like trying to mess around with the settings, but the new engine is here. Old one's out. I just got to transfer all the accessories over tomorrow and tomorrow we can start putting the engine back in the car and then the car can run again. I do have a new clutch. I got an Exidy stage one clutch. I'll put a picture of the box up right there, I guess. So. I'm excited. Uh, I got a couple other things I wanna order. I gotta order a new set of headlights, the actual housings, cause I've had aftermarket ones in for a while and they're just really So I'm gonna order new ones. And when all that's done, the car will be done. The other, oh, there is one other thing I gotta do and I just have to replace the driver's side front strut, which in taking the engine out, we pretty much did half the work for that, so. That should be nice and easy. But other than that, we just gotta put the car back together and I can drive it again. So, that's all I got for today. Just a quick little update. So, I'll see you guys in the next 
video, hopefully in just a day or two.